Hello and welcome back to this lecture. In this lecture, we will create the RDS instance in the private data subnets. To create the RDS database in the management console, type RDS in this search box and select RDS under services. Before we create the RDS instance in the private data subnets, the first thing we need to create is the subnet groups. And the subnet groups allows us to specify which subnets we want to create our RDS database in. To create a subnet group, select subnet groups here and click create DB subnet group. Give the subnet group a name. I'll call it database subnets. Then give it a description. I'm going to use the same name as the description. Under VPC, select the VPC you want to create the RDS instance in. I'll select this drop down and I'll select the dev VPC. Scroll down. Under add subnets, this is where we select the subnets we want to create our RDS instance in. I'll select this drop down under availability zone and I'll select US East 1A availability zone and US East 1B. That is the two availability zones we are using in this VPC. Then I'll click out. Then under subnets, select the drop down. In US East 1A, according to our reference architecture, the private data subnet has a CIDR block of 10.0.4.0 slash 24. So I'll select this one. And in US East 1B, the private data subnet has a CIDR block of 10.0.5.0 slash 24. So I'll select this. Make sure you've select the right subnets. Then scroll down and click create. We have successfully created the subnet groups. Next, we can create the database. Click on databases up here and click create database. Under create database, first we will choose a database creation method and it will be standard create. Under engine type, it is going to be MySQL. Select MySQL and scroll down. Under version, select this drop down. For this project, we will use MySQL version 5.7. So under this drop down, select the latest version of MySQL version 5.7. Then scroll down. Under templates, select dev and test. And scroll down. According to our reference architecture, we can create a standby database in the other availability zone. And if you want to create a standby database in another availability zone, you will check this option to create your standby database in another availability zone. For this project, so it don't cost us money, we won't create a standby database. But if you want to create one, this is where you check that option. We will leave it on single DB instance and scroll down. On that DB instance identifier, we'll give it a name and I'll call it dev RDS DB. Then scroll down. Under credential settings, for the master username, give it a username. I'll give it my name. Once you've entered the username for your database, create a password for it. Once you've entered the password, confirm the password here. Once you've entered the password and confirm it, scroll down. Under DB instance class, select the boss table classes here and toggle include previous generation classes on. Then your DB instance class should be DB T2 micro. This is the free one. Then scroll down. We'll leave the storage as default. Scroll down. Under connectivity for your VPC, select this drop down and select your dev VPC. Then scroll down. Under subnet group, Make sure the subnet group you created previously is selected. Then scroll down. We'll leave this option as default. Under VPC security group, we will choose an existing security group. Then remove this default security group here. Then click this drop down and select the database security group. Once you've select the database security group, click out. Under availability zone, this is where you choose the availability zone you want to create the master database in. According to our reference architecture, 
we will create the master database in the US East 1B. Select this drop down and select US East 1B. Then scroll down. Under database authentication, make sure password authentication is checked. That is why we create a username and a password for this database. Then scroll down. Under additional configuration, expand this option. Under initial database name, give your database a name. This is very important. If you don't enter a name here, the RDS instance will not create a database for you. And you can see that information below. So in here, make sure you enter your database name. I'll call my database application DB. Once you've entered the name for your database, scroll down and we will leave all this option as default. Scroll all the way down and click create database. We are now creating our RDS instance and it will take a few minutes for the RDS instance to be created. Once you have created the RDS instance, you won't be able to see the password for the RDS instance in the management console. So that is why it is important that you save your credentials. To see the credentials of your RDS instance one more time, click view credential details up here. And here it is going to show you the username and the password of your RDS instance. Make sure you copy this information and save it somewhere because we would need it in the next lecture to connect to the RDS instance. I'll close this. It will take some minutes for the RDS instance to be created. So I'll pause this video and we'll come back to it once the RDS instance has been created. After waiting a couple of minutes, the database was successfully created and the status says available. Next, click on the database identifier name. Under connectivity and security, this is where you will find the endpoint for your database. We will need this information when we connect our database to our EC2 instance. And if you select the configuration tab, here you will also find more information about your database. For example, you can see your database instance ID here. You can also see your database name here. We will need all this information in the next lecture to connect our EC2 instance to the database. This is how you create an RDS instance with MySQL engine. If there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.